Hey, John Cristani here, and I'll be going over how to make $10,000 a month in affiliate marketing, which was a goal that I achieved after four years of doing affiliate marketing on my own, and I've now created hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in income from affiliate marketing. And to cut to the bottom line, which I'll be going over in depth, basically it's getting approved to multiple offers, becoming an expert at a particular traffic source and testing like a banshee. Let's get into the video and I'll explain exactly how all this works and how you too can create an income for yourself of $10,000 a month or more. The sky's the limit with affiliate marketing. Let's get it. Hey, John Cristani here, and over the course of the last number of years I've been doing affiliate marketing, I've made over $20 million doing it, but it took me a long time to get to the mark where I was a super affiliate, which is making over $10,000 a month in income from affiliate marketing. Now, the first thing is you want to always make sure you get approved to multiple offers. So many folk get hung up on promoting one single product in affiliate marketing marketing, network marketing, MLM, direct marketing folk, you can chime in, but basically I see those folks making the worst mistake, which is just sticking to one offer, just Herbalife, just promoting Herbalife, whereas the reality is that there really is no one size fits all product that just gets rid of everybody's problems. You want to have multiple products that you are testing at any one time. If you pick one offer, you could be putting all your time and effort into one thing that doesn't convert very well, that people just aren't interested in buying, that isn't competitive. And this is a terrible place to be. I made this mistake earlier this year where I was just promoting one particular offer. And when I switched over to promoting multiple different offers and testing multiple different offers or companies, then I started making a lot more money, almost eight times more more money from promoting a different affiliate offer. As marketers, we're salespeople. Just because you love a particular product or a particular company doesn't necessarily mean it will make you the most money. Again, we're doing business. And in business, you have to work to remove your emotions from the equation and you will make more money. Just look at the data. And this is one of the issues why some of the most empathetic people, some of the most nurturing and caring people in the world are oftentimes the brokest people in the world. It's because they can't remove their emotions from the data and the analysis and that goes into business of making money. So take emotion off the table and test multiple offers, test multiple companies, because you may find like it was in my case where just by testing multiple offers, I was able to take an ad campaign that was unprofitable to one that was very profitable. And I literally didn't change my ads or my advertising funnel or anything at all. I just changed the effect affiliate offers that I was promoting. Now, the next major point you need to understand is you need to master one traffic source, just get really, really good at it and become an expert at it. Now, Bruce Lee has a famous quote where he says, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks one time, but I fear the man who practiced one kick 10,000 times. And this also goes back to the attention span of our generation. You look at people, the kids, many of you are probably, you know, younger than 30, and you're addicted to smartphones. You're addicted to the scroll of the Facebook or the Instagram or the Twitter or, you know, the YouTube, and your attention spans have become five seconds long. And the issue with this is that you learn the strategy of the week, right? You're each month, right? It's Facebook ads 
then the next month it's Pinterest ads and the next month it's Reddit ads and the next month's video ads. It's always going to be something different because marketers don't make money teaching you the same thing every week. They make money by saying there's always a new shiny object. In marketing, we call this shiny object syndrome and it makes marketers a lot of money. Whereas the reality of the situation is that all of these traffic sources work. People are still making money doing Google ads. People are still making money doing Facebook ads. People are still making money doing eBay and Amazon and affiliate marketing and consulting. All of the traffic sources work. It's not about what traffic source you pick. It's about going deep and mastering one. Again, practice one kick. It can be a simple kick. 10,000 thousand times. Now, in my case, I went deep on Google ads. That was my first main traffic source. And I got really good at it, even when Facebook ads was the hot, sexy thing, right? I went deep on Google ads and I made a lot of money. And this last year, I've been making a massive pivot in my entire business, which has been insanely stressful and cost me almost about $800,000 a year worth of my time. Time. And that traffic source is television. Old traffic source, right? Old news. Why would anybody focus on TV? It's like the most non sexy, uncool thing. No marketers are talking about it. But I just decided, I said, TV works. Nobody's talking about it. I said, I'm just going to take a gamble and I'm just going to master it. And it's paid out very well for me and created me an income stream of over six figures per month and soon to be seven figures per month and soon to be seven figures profit per month. But again, I went deep. I decided decided to take a year of my time I have my rest of my business automated and take a year of my time to go deep on one particular new traffic source and it's paying out in spades even though it took a large investment of my time and my money to get there. And this last point is the most important by far, but it's easily the one that, I mean, every one of my students who isn't successful, I guarantee you they are not doing this. And that is testing. Test everything. Always test everything. Even if you are profitable, you should be always testing everything in your marketing. Test your targeting. Test the audiences that you are marketing to. Test your offers that you are promoting. Test your landing pages or your pre-sell pages. Test everything. Test everything within your ads. Test your headlines. Test your images. Test your descriptions. Again, if you are not testing everything all the time, you are missing out on the most valuable part of marketing and that is being able to optimize your way to success. The average marketer gives up when their first test fails because they are getting emotional. Whereas if you look at the marketers at the top, we are constantly testing everything. We are testing our ad, our targeting, our offers, etc. The average marketer allows fear of failure and loss to just emotionally take over their brain and make them give up. And this is why I say you have to take emotions out of the equation when you are looking at your business and just look at data. I've had ads where one ad has made me hundreds of thousands of dollars, but to create and to figure out that one miracle ad, I had to test hundreds of ads to get there. But I was willing to test and I kept testing because I knew that eventually that even little gains, as long as I was making progress every step of the way, as long as I got a 1% higher click-through rate, as long as I got a 1% higher conversion rate with one of my 10 tests, even if I had nine failed ads and if one ad gave me a little boost, I knew I was making progress and eventually all of those 1% increases would over time add 
add up to making me profitable on a large scale. Of course, it's painful when I put up ads and nine of them fail. It's painful losing money when I was doing advertising testing. It's painful when I put up 10 YouTube videos and none of them get more than 10 views. It's painful when I put up 50 YouTube videos and none of them get more than 100 views. And it hurts inside. I tell myself, I'm wasting my time. I'm not getting anywhere. But again, I was learning and I was collecting data and I trust the process. And the process is copy, test, optimize. The process is copy what the top people are doing, test and just keep testing ads and optimize. Cut the red, grow the green. In YouTube, for instance, because this applies not just to advertising, but it applies to organic traffic methods such as YouTube, is I put out videos for a super long time before I ever got anywhere with my YouTube channel. But over time, I figured out what I needed to do, what I needed to say. I figured out that people want to watch screen shares, that people want to watch me talk about making lots of money, that people wanted me to talk about affiliate marketing. I know a lot more things than affiliate marketing. I'm a lot more complex of a person than that. But I know that if I talk about making money, if I share my computer screen, and if I just make it about affiliate marketing, that I would get a lot more views. Now, one of the things is for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you'll notice I don't do a lot of screen share videos anymore is because YouTube's really not an important traffic source for my business. YouTube is not important to my business at all. I volunteer my time to do YouTube. The income I make from YouTube is just insignificant to my my overall business and it always has been, you know, but I still want to maintain my channel even if it takes me some time. I don't have all of the time to do the screen share videos every single day like I used to in the past. So I guess I kind of cut the middle and I said, okay, I'll continue. I'll stay true to my New Year's resolution, which is to do a video every weekday, but I will just talk to you kind of casually and personally about the lessons I've learned from my life in marketing. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you maybe learn something. If you learn something, type it in the description and let others know what you learn. Also, I encourage you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. I give away money every single week, free money to my subscribers to reward them. And I scratch off these gift codes on the back, on a live stream, on YouTube, so that my subscribers can be rewarded with free money. But you won't hear about that unless you enable the notifications. And also, I encourage you to join our community on Discord. Go to my channel homepage and just search through if you want to learn more step-by-step -step stuff about affiliate marketing. Go through my channel homepage and you'll find a lot of playlists and a lot of videos where you can learn step-by-step -step on my screen how to do affiliate marketing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my dream of being a teacher. And I look forward to seeing you all succeed. Have a good day. Bye. By far the best course about how to make sales in any market with any medium ever. Uh, after going through the program, I made my first commissions uh, basically yesterday. And uh, I just made my first commissions pretty freaking crazy because I had no clue what I was doing. But I've been in sales for over 20 years. Uh, I'm 45 years old. So I've, I've been in sales, customer service. I have no marketing experience. And uh, I know how to set up my email and do things like that. So I have what's, I have, I have the info up here. I just, I really don't know how to, how to use it and how to, how to bring it to light. And that's what John's course is helping me do.